Conventional laser treatment has proven efficacious for severe ROP. However, it has limited success in zone 1 disease and requires considerable expertise and experience as well as significant technological investment. Intravitreal bevacizumab has also been proven efficacious for severe ROP. According to the BEAT-ROP trial, it is superior to laser treatment for zone 1 disease. It is also cheaper and requires much less sophisticated technological support and may induce less myopia. But systemic safety remains a concern. Are all VEGF inhibitors the same? Are they equally effective? Are they equally safe? Most studies of AMD suggest equal efficacy, but safety may differ. How do they differ, and how might that impact safety? The pharmacokinetics of each agent differ considerably. Molecular half-life, target affinity, and serum concentration are the key elements of any possible systemic effects. Severe ROP likely reduces the blood retinal barrier, reducing the impact of molecular size. However, serum concentration in both amount and persistence, as well as target affinity, is likely significant to any systemic effect. Of the three anti-VEGF drugs in common usage, ranibizumab is superior in its low serum concentration and its lower target affinity. IVR may be the better choice considering both efficacy and theoretical safety.